Well, there was periods of time, very short amount of time, where we were seeing 500 to as much as a thousand strikes, uh, you know, per uh, per a half hour hour. So, uh, yeah, lightning certainly changed. I would say, mm -hmm. if we've been looking at the evolution of the storms throughout the afternoon into the evening, that has certainly ramped up. I would say within the past half hour, that we're really starting to see things becoming a little bit more active as far as the lightning strikes going and the tornado threat decreasing across the area. So we were looking at maybe 10, 20, 30 strikes on a storm at four or five o'clock. Now we're into the six o'clock hour, almost closing in on seven o'clock, and and those strikes have have increased uh, 10 hundred fold. I mean, as we've been looking at storms, exactly. clarify just for a minute, guys, can you clarify that lightning strike that uh, hit a house that location again or, or the vicinity? Uh, just just curious near 240th Street and Highway 92 east of Council Bluffs, and that was according to the emergency management there. So, so, uh, so the storm has jumped the Missouri River then. And, and well, it has. And if you look at the big picture view, as we've been talking about, yeah. Craig, is that now, yes, it's, it's passed over. I mean, we've got clusters of storms lining up all along Interstate 80. And again, it has. And now stuff's already starting to develop to the south of Denison. So uh, anywhere from around uh, Lake Manawa and Bellevue off at Air Force Base, things are settling down a little bit there. But this is all slowly starting to drift to the north. Platt Smith. On the west side, you're still dealing with the potential for a severe thunderstorm because we have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for that area. So hail still a major concern. But as we've been talking about, the lightning strikes increasing in intensity uh, over the past uh, really hour, half hour or so, and the line just continues to keep expanding and stretching further to the east. Eagle finally starting to see at least things improving somewhat uh, to the south of them. But there's another cluster of storms over the same area that had the heavy rainfall that's seen already six and a half inches. You still have more storms developing in that area. So this line is going to stick around here at least for the next couple of hours, slowly beginning to migrate further to the north. But this threat for strong to even severe thunderstorms is going to continue here at least for the next couple of hours. Jen.